Hi all, welcome to another Seasons in Garden video. Today we're going to try and fix the pump and succeed after several tries. <laughs> yeah, so sorry for the wait, but I got a bit sick. I'm still a bit congested, but it's better now. So the first thing that I wanted to do was just to check all of the pump. And then we actually noticed that the cable isn't isn't looking that well and so I went and first removed the cap now the cap is a rubber cap but it's really screwed well and when I removed the cap I could really see the damage two out of three wires were snipped off at the where the cable was exiting the electrical part of the pump and so the pump wasn't working because of the issue with the cable. The biggest issue with this was that I did not have the appropriate screwdriver because for some reason the pump has a Y screws. I don't know why, but why? <laughs> Okay, so what I decided to do first is to clean the pump. Since there was some rackety stuff going on inside it and I wasn't sure what was happening and it sort of lost its strength in the last couple of months that we were using it, at least last couple of months last year. So I just decided to um, check what's going on inside and to clean it because there were, I knew that there was some sand and we were pumping in the water from the well, so I knew that it wasn't really clean. And I had first removed all of the screws on the outer rim and then tried to uh, remove the this is like a lid but it just was not going so I thought that maybe I missed a screw or maybe something else was going on so what I did was I started to unscrew all of the screws that I could see on the pump which in the end was not necessary because all that I had to do was to just remove the screws on the outer rim. Since this was the first time that I, won that I was trying to clean this pump, I didn't, wasn't 100% sure if those were the only screws that were holding the lid to the body of the pump. So I just went ahead and I literally unscrewed everything that I could see. So now that all of the screws are out, I was trying like playing, 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 and it just made so so much sense that you could just now pop out the lid, but it still wasn't budging. And then I just made like a little little push and it just fell apart. And that was it. The pump was free. It was clearly dirty, had a layer of sand over everything and I also found one snail house inside. I have no idea how that snail got in. And I also found a piece that has dislodged from the pump and that was making all of the rackety sound. Right, so then when my pump was clean, I was seeing how I can screw it up and I first started uh, without the <laughs> rubber. Rubber is needed to prevent the water from leaking out. I added the rubber correctly the first time and then as I was putting the lid back on, it fell out. And then I did the mistake of putting the rubber back on, but on the lid itself, which again caused it to move. And of course, when we turned the pump on, the water was gushing out. Then when 
when everything was back, we went back home because we needed to get the correct bit in order to fix the electric part. And in this part, I put on my engineering cap on <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. I'm an engineer of electrical engineering, so I feel okay while working with electrics. If you don't know anything about electricity, ask someone who knows. Now that I could unscrew the cap of the pump, I saw that it was, well, it was pretty obvious from the start what was wrong, and that's the broken wires. But I took a look at the pump and it was actually really good. I was expecting it to have like a little breaker inside, but it's super simple. It's just, it just had like one capacitor, which is used to create the rotor field that this single phase motor needs in order to start. Sorry for the geek out. And then I proceeded to remove the parts that I didn't need so that I can pull out the cable from its spot over there. And the cable also had one little rubber to make sure that the area with the electrical area is completely safe and waterproof. And this little part I put on the back on the main cable right away because I tend to lose stuff. I took the old broken part of the cable out. I saw that there was like a little box well where they have kept all of the connections so that they are bunched together. I have removed that from the box and then what I did was to just make sure that the pump will work when I uh, connect the new cable. I went ahead and uh, removed the parts that were connected to the broken part of the cable. So I first have to remove the insulation and the big outer insulation I removed just by cutting it with a knife and then pulling it out. And the insulation from the wires, I used this little like insulation clippers that you can adjust the thickness so that it's the thickness of the wire inside and then you just pull you snap and pull out the insulation and it leaves the wires and in order to test the pump all that i did was just connected the wires together in the appropriate with the appropriate colors this is the european version so our ground is yellow and green In order to test, I don't feel okay with just, you know, moving the cables to the side because it tend to be a bit clumsy and ADHD sometimes makes it so that I don't pay much attention to what I'm doing. So I insulated everything with the insulation tape and then tested the pump. And since the pump was working, this was the end of the job and I now needed to connect things. Now, since this is a water pump, I had to make sure that my connections uh, were watertight. And of course, my inspector has come in to help me with it, to make sure that the job is correctly done. And for this reason, I have bought this gel box. This box enables you, enables your connections to stay Insula insulated from water, protected from water, and you have no fear when it comes to the a bit wetter environment. So it just came with the usual connector and then this insulation box that goes, that you clip around it. Now I started connecting the two. Yeah, I used the same procedure. So Sip is snip, snipped out the parts that I have combined and then stripped out the insulation that I needed and then took the connector and connected the wires one by one by one so that the correct color of the wire is connected to the correct color to make sure that the pump is working correctly.
of the wires were connected, I took the little black box with gel. And then I tried to put everything inside. Yep, that's a face bomb. Because only now did I realize that I have forgot to thread my cable. And after a while of meddling and redoing stuff, I've managed to connect everything and to put the lid back on. <laughs> And since it was working, we took it to the garden the next day to connect it to the well, to the water, and to uh, start watering the garden. Like I said, I made the mistake of putting the rubber the first time, so I had to actually reconnect it on this day, but no damage was done. And that's it for this video. Have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye!